An engaging and heartwarming tale, Clarence is an American animated television series brought to life by Skylar Page for Cartoon Network. Page, with his rich experience as a storyboard artist for the widely appreciated series Adventure Time and as a storyboard revisionist for Secret Mountain Fort Awesome, developed Clarence in 2012. Crafted with love at Cartoon Network Studios, Clarence was a part of an innovative animated short development initiative. The series is a kaleidoscope of life through the eyes of a young boy Clarence, who sees the world with relentless optimism. Kicking off with a pilot right after the 2014 Hall of Game Awards show on February 17, 2014. I remember that day. After initially airing 12 15-minute episodes, Clarence expanded its first season with an additional 26 episodes announced on July 25, 2014. A second season hit screens from January 18, 2016 to February 3, 2017, followed by a third and final season from February 10, 2017 to June 24, 2018. In total, the series delivered 130 episodes of heartwarming and optimistic content over three seasons. Didn't seem like it was that many episodes. So let's dive into the context. The series revolves around the daily life of Clarence Wendell. <laughs> Uh, no, no, everything's fine. A spirited 10-year-old boy. His best friends are Jeff, the brains of the group, and Sumo, known for his extreme problem-solving methods. I need Sumo as a friend. Clarence calls the fictional town of Aberdale, Arizona home, living with his divorced 37-year-old mother Mary and her 36-year-old husband Chad. Each episode highlights the everyday situations and challenges that Clarence and his friends stumble upon, showcasing their daily adventures and life experiences as kids. Uh, no one followed me around with a camera. Aberdale Elementary, Clarence's school, is the backdrop for many episodes, introducing us to a colorful array of students and faculty. Not to be overlooked, certain episodes turn the spotlight on supporting characters, which are the citizens of Aberdale and Clarence's classmates. Man, what a bunch of great people. I didn't know y'all was friends. Uh, we mostly hang out at school. Season 1, Episode 1. Fun Dungeon Face-Off The first episode starts with a character, Bucky O'Neill, mesmerizing Sumo with a story on TV about the discovery of chicken nuggets and the foundation of Aberdale. Uh, how are chicken nuggets founded? Meanwhile, Clarence is singing about his love for food and bantering with Jeff about food preferences, particularly around fries in the Fun Dungeon, a children's play area that scares Jeff. The friends place their food orders, where Clarence translates Sumo's fast and unclear speech for the cashier. Jeff insists on ordering a meal without the burger, leading to a minor commotion. The friends then move to their table, where Jeff is disappointed with his toy, and Sumo covers a burger and ketchup. Yum. Clarence and Sumo's sloppy eating scares Jeff away to the bathroom, where Clarence and Sumo hatch a plan to lure Jeff into the fun dungeon using his fries. That episode was kind of funny. Inside the fun dungeon, Clarence and Sumo prank Jeff with girly shoes and hide, leading Jeff on a wild chase throughout the play area after his fries. During the comic chaos, which culminates in a foam fight, Mary and her friend discuss Sammy's wish for her son to play with Clarence. This conversation contrasts sharply with Jeff's threats to Clarence over misplaced fries. In the episode's climax, Clarence admits to having Jeff's fries on a slide, leading to a messy spill. After Jeff helps Clarence, they share a reflective conversation about their actions. Mary concludes the episode with a mild scolding, and Clarence's shoe mishap adds a touch of humor. Season 1, Episode 19, Lizard Day Afternoon The following episode begins with Clarence and Sumo climbing the Rough Rider statue, much to the cashier's dismay. When Jeff suggests they do something constructive, the conversation shifts to Belson's new simulation game, City Planner 3000. Oh man, that game is so fun. Jeff is eager to build his perfect city, but Sumo disagrees, saying it would be a waste of time. As Jeff storms off to Belson's house to play the game, Sumo and Clarence distract themselves by chasing a lizard they find. <laughs> Jeff's attempts to gain a turn at the game at Belson's house are largely ignored. Meanwhile, Clarence and Sumo's lizard chase leads them through a series of obstacles, including a chance encounter with a vending machine named Bill. Uh, that's pretty freaky. Despite the obstacles, Clarence and Sumo persist, as they believe the lizard is a genie bringing them good luck. Can I have three wishes? Back at Belson's house, Jeff's frustration builds as Belson remains engrossed in the game, despite Jeff's attempts to gain a turn, including making chocolate pudding for Belson. Yum. 
In contrast, Clarence and Sumo's adventure sees them find a roll of quarters and enjoy a horse ride in a parachute toy. Man, to be a kid again. Finally, Clarence and Sumo catch a lizard they believe is a luck-bringing genie, but ultimately decide to free it, creating an emotional scene. Meanwhile, Jeff gets frustrated with Belson's lack of attention and breaks Belson's game console in anger. Uh, that's not cool. Oblivious to the broken console, Jeff pretends to play when Clarence and Sumo arrive with their lizard named Jeff. The deception leads to Clarence and Sumo's disappointment and departure, ending the adventurous day on a sour note. Season 2, Episode 3, Bird Boy Man. The episode starts with Sumo spending time with a friend in a rural zone before he has to leave. On his journey, he pauses to feed some baby birds nestled in a car, but one escapes, causing him to halt and return it to its place before heading to school. In the middle of their teacher's story reading, Sumo's bird hot sauce crashes into the window and gets injured. This distracts Sumo, who sneaks out to care for the bird, only to find that the rest of the birds have disappeared. Uh, anyone else find that strange? At home, Sumo tends to hot sauce's injuries and plays with the bird, only to be interrupted by his mother and later his friends Clarence and Jeff. The friend's attempt to play with hot sauce ends up with them hurt, leading to an argument and a fallout. Man, they argue a lot. Sumo spends his day with hot sauce, leading to a series of adventures and mishaps. Later, while doing his homework, Sumo gets frustrated with hot sauce's mess in his room and decides to let it free. The bird flees and a chase ensues, ending in a fall and injuries for Sumo. Finally, as Sumo rests at home with his foot in a cast, Clarence and Jeff visit him, and the episode concludes with Clarence playfully mimicking a bird. <laughs> Oh, really, Clarence? Season 2, Episode 20, Mystery Girl. In this later episode, Clarence, Jeff, and Sumo are initially engaged in making phone jokes. The plot takes a turn when Clarence randomly dials a number and ends up chatting with a girl named Bella, leading to an all-night conversation while Jeff and Sumo play. The next day, Clarence and Bella continue their budding friendship, with Bella sharing a song and Clarence making a drawing for her. Aww, how cute. However, their constant interaction leads to tension with Jeff and Sumo, who feel neglected. I mean, I don't blame them. This tension increases when Clarence forgets to play with his friends due to remembering it's Bella's birthday too late. Despite his attempts to reach Bella and apologize, his calls go unanswered, leaving him distressed. In an attempt to uplift Clarence's spirits, Mary arranges a meeting with Bella's mother for the two kids to meet in person. Such a cool mom. The episode concludes on a lighter note, as Clarence presents Bella with a gift. They chat about their favorite series, The Mms, and a playful accident befalls Clarence. Season 2, Episode 39, Pizza Hero. The episode revolves around the dynamic interactions of students and adults, with a popular character named Moriano, a pizza maker known for his heartwarming gestures and acts of kindness. As Mr. Reese announces various awards for the school year, many individuals, including Jeff, Darlie, Breen, and Percy reflect on the impacting moments they've shared with Mariano. These include instances where Mariano provided a pizza for Clarence when he fell from the Rough Rider statue, offering a comforting heart-shaped pizza to Miss Baker during her breakup, replacing Percy's punctured bicycle tire with a pizza wheel, saved Sumo from an exploding watermelon, and helped Miss Shu create a doghouse with pizza boxes. Despite the heartening stories, Jeff can test the authenticity of the events, claiming that Mariano's actions were not as heroic as painted. This assertion dampens the mood, leading to a somber atmosphere. I'm glad someone pointed that out. However, the arrival of Mariano, disguised as Jeff and showering the room with countless pizzas, lightens the scene back up, concluding the episode on a high note. Could I order some pizza now? Season 3, Episode 40, Anywhere But Sumo. This final episode, leading up to a summer break, centers around a tradition between Clarence and Sumo, the anniversary of when Clarence first cut Sumo's hair. Man, that was a funny episode. Sumo initially agrees to let Clarence continue the tradition, but when Sumo's school friends cut his hair instead, Clarence feels betrayed and jealous. Uh, I mean, I would too. It appears Sumo is starting to spend more time with his other friends, leaving Clarence feeling left out, despite his attempts to connect. Clarence dreads the notion uh, I guess you're a little warm. of not being able to hang out with Sumo until the summer, a time he believes to be a squillion miles away. However, Jeff informs him that summer starts the next day, lifting Clarence's spirits. Uh, come on, how clueless is this guy? 
The boys reunite at a couch they nicknamed Clarmelan, where Clarence gets to cut the last strand of Sumo's hair that his friends missed. Aw, what a good moment. Suddenly, a runaway bulldozer destroys Sumo's school. The boys cheer, relieved that Sumo no longer has to attend school. As the school walls crumble, Clarence spots Miss Baker and Mr. Moser inside, sharing a kiss, exclaiming yes. The words surrounding Clarence, thank you for watching, mark the end of the series. So this was a brief overview of the popular show Clarence and some of its episodes. The show has captivated audiences with its heartwarming stories, relatable characters, and lighthearted comedy. Yes, the show may have ended, but its impact will always remain in the hearts of its viewers. Hopefully, we'll see more content like Clarence in the future, reminding us to embrace our inner child and cherish the simple moments in life. Let us know in the comments which cartoon series you want us to cover next. Till then, goodbye!